180. First leg, it's James Richardson to throw first. Game on. James Richardson then, the brickie from Northamptonshire. Wins the ball throwing first against James Wade. And starts off with a solid ton. He did mention, Rob, that it's that double top, double ten, that you know when James is playing well when they're going in. And it wasn't brilliant stuff, you know, the real old school Wade we saw at the Grand Prix, but he still managed to get the job done and kept winning matches and made it through to play Phil Taylor and just... Well, collapsed in the end, as, as often happens when uh, not just James plays Taylor, but... 99. Well, you know, great players, you know, always do well, even when they're not playing well. They seem to always get over the finish line, grind a result out. And Wade is one of those players. You know, you, all of a sudden he's in a semi-final of a major and we haven't really talked about him, you know, and you're thinking... Oh, blimey, and, and he was just done this. And done, you know, we talk about you know executing the simple things in a brilliant way, in, in the right way. And certainly, James Wade does that. Yeah, he has an incredible knack of winning matches, James Wade. That you just think other people would not have the the wherewithal to 85. do in those situations, whether it's hitting a big shot at the right time or just a great leg of 10, 11, 12 darts just when he needs it. Always go back to that incredible World Championship game he had with Michael Van Gerwen where 41. MVG nearly did back-to-back -back nine daughters and still lost the set. He did. I was actually commentating on it. And uh, I think that, that said it all for everybody who ever doubted what James Wade being a great player as Richardson. They had a chance. Uh, yeah, if anybody ever doubted James Wade, what a great player he was and how he can just play the dartboard, that set proved it. You know, Michael Van Gerwen was double 12 for... A, the second nine darter on the trot, and Wadey won the set. It was incredible. 100. Danger required 100. Certainly Richardson in the driving seat in this first leg. He did throw first in the match. Wants to be 11 for the ball. Well, he's going 25 for the double 18. Oh, well, he's missed the 25. 89. He will be back, though, Richardson. It's just a case of what pressure he's under. And James Wade's going to make sure it's plenty because he'll be sat on double top. 139. James Ribois, 32. To hold his throw then, Richardson. Just looking to come inside that one into the little green bit. He's gone outside. Still has a He's chance and the finds the bottom leg. corner James of the bet. Richardson. Second leg is James Wade to throw first. Game on. Yeah, great last dart there from James. When he's missed the two and he knows that Wade's on double top, you kind of, as we talked about, think, well, Wade's not going to miss the double top. So I got one dart, 96. one last chance in the end. And, uh, you know, he took it out. And now he'll be feeling a little bit more easier, a little bit more. The edginess kind of goes when you get that first leg under your belt. 140. Just to let you know what's going on on the other stage, we've had uh, Ronnie Baxter make it through, beat Dave Ladley 6-1. He's into the second round. Currently got Mark Walsh taking on Dave Pallet. Walshy 3 1 up in that one. 140. Wade perhaps just looking to get into gear now, find some sort of rhythm. When he is playing his best stuff, it is absolutely mesmerising to watch James Wade. It's just 43. incredible. He makes it look so easy. Well, the, the match that always comes to mind for me is the final of the Premier League at, at Wembley when Phil Taylor did the 2 9 darts, missed. Another one, and only just beat James 10-8. We always talk about how well Phil Taylor played. 92. Um, but everybody seems to miss how well James played in that. Uh, you know, Phil had, I don't know, 109, 110 average, and only just beat him. And that really did, you know, prove to me, you know, what a great player. We always knew he was great, but it kind of put him up there. 95. Do you know what I mean? On that, on that plateau of uh, great black, but class players. I think a lot of people, you know, it's often mentioned that, that stat about him being the second most successful player in PDC history. But perhaps people who have only come to the game in the last couple of years won't have seen the best of James Wade. They'll have seen him, you know, pulling results out and you know, hitting the odd big shot or big leg. But they won't have seen him in full flow. I mean, when he first appeared, I mean, he was winning tournaments for fun. He was at nine darters for fun. 
uh, genuinely announce himself as, as the future of darts. Yeah, he did, and you know, like you said, it's been documented, uh, you know, about the, the few problems he has, and that certainly put him on the back foot. And fair play to him, you know, 59. he's still the grit and determination's there, Andrew and he still Guire, gets up there and takes it on the chin. Uh, but this could be a bit of a blow. Now if James can take this out, 16, we'll leave him the bullseye. That gives him the bullseye. Oh, well, James is going to come back. We talked Andrew about the Guire, double top 56. and the double ten. You know how he was the best in the game, especially on double ten. We're going to find out if it's working for him today. Well, that answered that. Absolutely no bother at all for James Wade. Like he's shelling peas. One apiece here. Richardson. Peering out from beneath what seems to be like permanently arched eyebrows, James Richardson. Like a quizzical look on his face. You can see him winding himself up just to the right of James Wade there, you know, just saying, come on, I've got a chance 60. here. Had a real good run a couple of years ago in Benidorm in a tour event. Played extremely well there. As I said, he practices with his son, and uh, which is great. My son wants me 100. to practice with him, and uh, I can't throw darts anymore, so that doesn't help. I actually found a set of my darts yesterday in the car. God knows how long they've been there. Not, not tempted to give him a chuck, Rod? Never. never. You'll never see me throw another dart, no. Funny enough, I was just talking earlier on to, to Kevin Painter and them, and I said, I can still throw a 12 dart. It just means I lose 6-1. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty. Well, just the 60 from Richardson there, and this is a chance for Wade to take control of this leg, and that is pretty much where he would have placed it, given the choice. 131. And leaves himself the big one. 100. That's a great first dart. You, you know, you've got 100. to... When you're playing someone Andrew like James Wade, 70. you get the first dart so good. You've got to follow it up. There's no good walking off with a ton because that is not going to beat James Wade. Seventy-eight. James, you require one hundred and forty-one. Important last dart there for James Wade. Richardson looks at a big one himself, and be frustrated with himself there. Sixty-five. James, you require ninety-two. Well, he's done that to leave him guaranteed a dart at a double instead of the bullseye. Let's see if Wade doesn't take this out. Now Wade's gone what we call the old-fashioned route. Now seventeen. That leaves him the bullseye. Just moves to the left. That opens it up. Gets the flight of that dart out of the way. 67. That was like millimetres from being 76. in the bullseye. Looked like it. He had covered a little bit of the target there. Wasn't going to be an easy one. But Richardson now looking. Double top. James on the third leg. James Richardson. And he holds his nerve again. Four Last dart. James Wade to throw first. Game on. Yeah, Richardson's going to be confident on his doubles now. 83. So he'll be thinking, you know, on Wade's throw, right, I'll stay with him. And if you give me a dart, I'm going to hit it. And that's how you think when you're up there. You know, as I said about plum darts, now he has followed that first one up. 180. With all three. And if you're going to hit a 180, hit it on your opponent's throw. James Wade looking to respond. So often you find he does. He'll quite happily... Be pootling along, playing well 100. within his capabilities if he's getting the job done. And then somebody will step up a gear and he just steps up to himself, you'll find. He does what he needs to when it counts, James Wade. That's why he's been so successful over the years. But he's having trouble keeping hold of James Richardson in this one. Ton 80 followed by ton 40. Well, we did say at the beginning of the game, you know, Wade is going to have to you know, keep, keep on line here because Richardson... He's renowned for taking the big scalps. I mean, like I said, he didn't just beat Barney at the World Championships. He absolutely beat him up three sets to nil. Barney didn't know what was happening after the first set. I think, I think it would have been a boxing match after the first set that I chucked the white towel in. Well, he 
nearly knocked himself out on his walk-on when he played Barney Richardson. He came on to Vindaloo and admitted afterwards he got too excited by it as James Wade. Well, he's not going to stay on the treble 20. Well, this is, a, this is a typical James Wade leg, you know. Richardson's gone off 180, 140, and you think, well, he can't lose the leg from here. All of a sudden, he's got to take out 121 to win the leg. He does have that knack, James Wade. 97. Andrew Guar, 72. James Wade looking at 72 to hold his own throw and level the match up, and that is absolutely perfect. He has to come across the board now for double six. 60. Misses outside. Well, you'd have fancied him on that double six because he's just above the double ten that he loves, so a chance here for Richardson to break the throw. Can't afford to pass this chance up. Oh, now he's on the double six. Oh, a, a massive chance there Andrew for James Richardson. He will know it. He will be angry with himself over that. Yeah, he bought himself the opportunity. He'd hit doubles on his last dart. The previous two legs he'd won, but James Wade having to do it on his last dart here. And, oh, no score. Never really threatened Andrew the double there. Six. Oh, and he's going to have to come to the left-hand side now. Well, how he's going to get that in there, I don't know. James well, on the fourth leg. I'll take my James hat off to you there, James, because I don't know how he, he fired it through first. those first two darts to pin Game the on. double three. And I thought that this would be a deflection and, and not even get nowhere near the double. That's one of those that uh, probably only about one in ten that actually would do that. 100. If somebody gave me the advice in the pub, if in doubt, chuck it harder. Make no difference to me, but it's worked a treat for James Richardson there to go 3 1 up. 100 but there eight. is some response from James Wade with his first maximum of the match to lead off his well, you're, fifth leg. You're exactly right there, Dan. You know, he did throw the dart harder, so it went, you know, come in a bit, little bit straighter 32. and went through right through the, the two barrels. James Wade, that's a fourth perfect dart. Oh, just shy of making it five. 99. No nine dart in this leg for James Wade, but he's put himself in a commanding position to get back within a leg of his opponent. 30. Yeah, good strong leg from Wade. Oh, he's up for another maximum. That's two maximums in this leg. Brilliant darts from James Wade. Going to get the throw back straight away. Well, Richardson's in there again, but Richardson can't leave a shot. But that's three maximums in this leg. Really have stepped it up, these two. Double top for Wade. Now, that double ten we've talked about so often. Give shot on the fifth leg. Oh, James two on eight, he's going to finish on his favourite double Six ten. James Wade to throw first. Game on. And James Wade, he's back in this one. One hundred. Decently thrown darts from Wade, but just the ton. Forty-three. Yeah, Richardson's just gone off the boil, won that leg to break James Wade, and not done anything since, and making it easy. I know Wade has stepped it up. There's no question he's scoring on that treble twenty. Forty has really been upped. Oh, has his flight just come out? Sixty. Oh, Wade still fiddling with his flights there. Returns of the board, quick check of the scoreboard. Well ahead in this leg. I used to always super glue my flights in. 
So they're never going to help when you're nervous. It's so hard to put that fly back in that stem, I can assure you. 100. Nice to super glue them. You just have to change the whole stem if you shredded your flight then. Yeah, I just have two or three of them in my pocket. It's easy to unscrew the, the stem and put a new one in. It is to fiddle about. Especially 90. now, my eyes are a little bit bad. <laughs> I'd be asking the caller to do it for me. One hundred. Oh, that helps him out a lot there. I think you'll see him go treble seven for double top in his next visit. Richardson absolutely nowhere. Even a ton four, he's not going to give him a an out shot. So it's looking 60. for all the world like James Wade 61. is going to tie this game up at three apiece. And that'll leave us effectively with a race to three for a place in the second round. Snuck that into the into the single He's 14. The but James no Wade. doubting where that Seven double eight, top James was. Richardson to throw first. Game on. Morrison took a 3-1 lead. He broke the wide throw to go 3-1 up. He started off the leg 180, 140. Um, then nicked the leg because they both had darts. To double. But since then, he's not really hit a thing. Hit the 180, but th that was wasted because Wade was so far ahead in the leg anyway. But uh, he's got to get back. Well, there we see Wade's first nine dart average. That's a better average. He's still probably five points under what he would like. But the 96, or now just under 97, that is very reasonable. And you've got to realise that Wade started off very poor in the first two legs. So that just means how good he's well over 95. 100 average, especially for those last two. Yeah, there's uh, a noticeable golf there. Wade really has stepped things up and he's looking to step things up again and with another One maximum eight. third of the match for James Wade. Well, there we have it. He's up to 115 now and just under the 100 on the, the overall average and that's where James Wade would want to be. If you showed him his average now, he'd say, yeah, that, that's me on level par now. And certainly, James Richardson, you can see, 87 on the first nine. He isn't going to win any games with that sort of scoring. This leg, of course, is the Richardson throw. 100. And that ton means that James Wade will fancy himself to step up, get another break, and go 4 3 ahead. 57. James Riquet, Winner of this one plays either Steve Beaton, the legend, or Daryl Gurney, upcoming Irishman. And James Wade looking at double 12 now for a 4-3 lead. He'll have to go over the board. We have had some trouble on double six, it's fair to say, so far this match. 75. And it'll continue. James Uruguay, 170. Well, what Richardson's got to think here, if I don't take this out, I keep saying it, leave a shot, because the double three is a nightmare of a double. Well, he's hit a big treble, so that'll help out. And the way James Wade's darts kicks up, really got to go for this. Split it if it's going to be split with the first one. Oh, he's gone two, double two. I'll hit the barrel and that'll bounce in. Oh, exactly perfect. that. James Absolutely perfect. James Wade. Eighth leg is James Wade to throw first. Game on. Oh, James Wade takes the last three legs on the trot. Come from 3-1 down to 4-3 up. And James Richardson. It's all just drying up for him at the minute. On the stage here in Eindhoven. 45. It's incredible how, you know, the first few 60. legs, Richardson really was scoring well, and yet now he's having so many visits without a treble. And, and that last visit, you know, the three darts were a good inch above that treble. One hundred. One hundred. He managed to work his way into the treble bed there. The bricky from Rushton. But Wade is straight in there with his first dart. And the second, and you wouldn't be surprised if he follows it up with another. One hundred and forty. Dropping short. He's now just pulling out those big shots at the right time, James Wade. And again, 41. a visit without a treble. 
really is making the back end of this match very easy for James Wade to control. And we're in there again with another perfectly situated dart. That's unlucky. You're going to have to switch now. 132. Looking very in control is James Wade. A match up between. Well, 180. James Richardson pulls out a 180. And maybe, just like the Comilla Pipe game earlier, a maximum could turn the game on its head. Yeah, and it's come out of nowhere. Oh, James Wade's missed the big number. That's unusual for James Wade. And the chance here for Richardson. As I said, that 180's come out of nowhere. Having 44. so many visits without a treble, Adrian suddenly pops in three. And we keep saying how quickly a game can change. Takes this 120 out, and he really is back in this game. Double top now to make it four each. 80. Oh, look at that for a grimace into the camera from James Richardson. Well, he knows how important that was, and James Wade stepping up for double top and a 5-3 lead and He's takes it. Leg. James Wade. He came under severe Nine pressure there, James Wade, Wade from first. James Richardson. <laughs> He's found a way to win that leg, and it might well prove to be the crucial moment in this match. But Richardson is finding the treble bed again. That, that maximum, his third of the match in the last leg, has sort of kicked him into gear a little bit. Well, it's the only difference, Dan, between you know the great players and the players that are, are very good professionals, like James Richardson. There's a, there's a twenty-four, you know, handfuls out there. They're just missing that little bit of consistency. He started off the match really well, got three-one up against James Wade, and then went off the ball scoring. Where James Wade is the guy that that. that his heart 100. rate of scoring power does not move that much up and down above the line. But the others are really up and down. And, uh, you know, the experience and practicing right and doing it right, and it's all different for every player to get that consistency. 60. And that's all James is missing in this match was that middle part of the game not finding the treble 20 enough. Having said that, he scored 84 in six darts here. <laughs> <laughs> 100. It's solid stuff from uh, James Richardson. I want to finish after nine darts. Yeah, it's just woken him up a little bit. You do get the feeling it might be a little, too, little too late against a player of James's calibre, but I'll hold his throw here. He's only got to break once. Sixty-five. Yeah, he shouldn't really lose this leg from here, James Richardson, that is. James Wade, a long way off. I think it's fair to say he might have written this 96. one off, Rod. James Rick won 96. <laughs> Exaggeratedly pulling his darts out the board there, James. 56. Oh. He'll be back for tops to make it 5-4. Yeah, I think you're right. He's written this off, and he'll just concentrate on the next leg, which will be on his throw. So, Richardson, uh, double top. Double He's top, he hits. Gets him back James into Richardson. the game. Ten leg is James Wade to throw first. Game on. Well, now, this is where Richardson, he'll be thinking, right, let's throw a 12 dart. I forget about whatever James Wade hits. I'll throw a 12 dart. I've got the throw in the last leg. All James Wade will be thinking, do you know what? A level 15 dart will do me. You do get the feeling in situations like this with James Wade, whether it be this leg or the next leg, he's going to throw a 12 or a 13 dart to somewhere. He'll make you throw something brilliant to beat him. And that's what the great players do. You ain't going to beat them with rubbish darts. Well, now, this could be a chance. If James Wade doesn't hit a treble, and, and again, he just sneaks the last treble in the treble in the 20. Unfortunate from Richardson there. Yeah, James Wade looking to fill him up. Be frustrated with himself for not 
following that into the treble bed, but there's another one. Not a great deal between them on the checkout percentages there, you can see. Richardson's coming down for the 19s, for the 96 to leave 170. And again, these previous three darts, the last one winning the treble five, and he's missed a big number there. You know, little things like that when you're throwing against the throw on someone like James Wade, you don't very often get away with it. You know, Wade in out. Pretty good at moving across the hockey just to find his treble. 45. Oh, there's, there's the chance again that Richardson needs, but he needs a 140. And you just think if he hadn't hit 40 odd in the last visit, how much, much better position he'd have been in going into this, but he's left himself Shanghai. 95. James Wade, 95 to win the match. Treble 19 for double. Oh, he's gone to the ball route, so 20. And that leaves him the bullseye. 70. Well, Richardson Andrew missed the double top on exactly this score a couple of legs ago. Can, um, he's not going to even give himself a chance at it. That's unlucky. So James Wade comes back 80. and he'll go Andrew five Wilde for the 25. double ten. Most people go nine double eight. Definitely James Wade five for double ten. And this will be for the match. He knows it. He loves it. He's gone next door. Double four. Game shot and the Exhibition James finish Wade. for James Wade. A 6-4 winner. He was put under pressure, but Richardson just didn't have enough in the end. 180!